This is Rogodowski of WeAreChange.org reporting to you here in Miami, Florida. I need to make a very important video because after studying U.S. foreign policy for the past 15 years, I believe we are finally at the breaking point of the U.S. empire. If you look at what's been happening globally, we have countries like Iran, Iraq, Syria, and Russia recently make an intelligence pact sharing information together to destroy ISIS. As we know, Russia has started bombing ISIS inside of Syria with the assistance of the Chinese government and the Chinese military. The breaking point now comes with Germany. Angela Merkel recently made a statement saying that Assad needs to be a part of the conversation. Commentators and journalists are describing this statement as groundbreaking. Approaching Assad would be an about face in the way of the West in dealing with Syria. With Germany making a stance against U.S. foreign policy, France is most likely to make a very similar decision very soon. You look globally at these two opposing forces. We have Turkey, Israel, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, and Qatar with the United States, which have directly and indirectly supported the growth of ISIS going up against Iran, Iraq, Syria, Russia, China, Germany, and soon to be France. This is an extremely dangerous situation because Israeli fighter jets that have been bombing Assad and helping ISIS are still flying in Syria and Russia is threatening to shoot them down. Russian fighter jets have actually invaded Turkish airspace. This is causing a very extreme dangerous situation that could break out into a world war possibility between these two major factions. Now why are all these countries turning against U.S. foreign policy? Well, Russian airstrikes within the past 24 hours have targeted four command centers, a jihad training center, a workshop producing suicide belts, and three army depots within just 24 hours hours. The Russians are now saying, according to Alexis Pushkov, the head of the Russian Parliament Internal Affairs Committee, is saying the U.S.-led coalition spent a whole year pretending that they were striking ISIS targets. But what are the results of these strikes? And he's right. Within the past 13 months, the U.S. government and the military have been supposedly bombing ISIS. What has happened within those 13 months? ISIS grew to its strongest possibility that it could ever be getting millions of dollars from Turkey and Saudi Arabia by selling off the oil that they are stealing and they are the most powerful that they have ever been when the United States was supposed to be bombing them. There's even bombshell reports saying that the Pentagon refused to bomb ISIS training centers but now the Russian are and the world leaders are asking, what the hell has been happening here? Even General Wesley Clark, former head of the NATO command, said that ISIS was started through the funding from our friends and our allies, and he is 100% right. Reuters even reported how Syrian trained rebels that the U.S. government gave intelligence to, weapons and arms to, gave those weapons and arms and intelligence and trucks to al-Nusra, the al-Qaeda front fighting in Syria against Assad. The United States in this situation is saying that Russia is horrible, they're inflicting civilian casualties, and then the next day, the U.S. coalition bombs a hospital in an Afghanistan, a Doctors Without Borders hospital killing doctors, killing children, killing innocent men and women who are there for treatment. And now the Russians are saying, look at the two strategies here. Russia is destroying ISIL training camps that the U.S. refused, while the U.S. is bombing in a hospital in Afghanistan. And the world leaders are going against the United States because of these very important geopolitical moves. Now with the bombing of the hospital, of course there was major media reports saying that it was the Taliban that did this bombing. U.S. reports were so vague no one could even figure out who bombed this hospital and people were making the assertion that it was the Taliban. Then the U.S. coalition responded saying that the hospital was a Taliban base. Doctors Without Border had to respond saying no. That wasn't the case in any way, shape, or form. CNN and the New York Times are obscuring who actually caused this massacre in Afghanistan. With these insane forces just trying to lie to us every single day, financing 
funding, training ISIS, pretending to bomb them, the world is turning against the United States. Now what's going to happen because of this? I don't know, but at least you know what's happening now because the mainstream media won't tell you in any way, shape or form that the U.S. even committed a horrible crime. For two years, over, around two years now, on this YouTube channel, we've been telling you the U.S. is training ISIS. The U.S. major goal when it comes to Syria is to get rid of Assad because Assad is the one who broke down and disagreed with the pipelines from Saudi Arabia that was going to go through Turkey and bypass Russia and have Europe dependent on Saudi Arabian oil. The geopolitics of this whole region is totally screwed up. And now we're stuck in this quagmire with these two major forces facing off against each other. Where this is gonna lead, I have no idea. But hell, at least you know what's happening now. If you're interested in doing this and making this your job, reporting the truth to the people, check out Change Media University. It's free for high school students. We teach you on an online college course how to be an independent journalist, how to fact check this. All the sources to this video will be in the description below. Prove me wrong. And if you found this information helpful, don't forget to subscribe because we're going to have a lot more coming to you on this channel on youtube.com forward slash we are change. Thank you again so much for watching. Uh, there's a speech going around right now on the internet where you talked about the upcoming wars in Syria and Libya and Iraq and Afghanistan saying that you people were telling you this was going to happen. Came back to see him a few. What you hear a lot of Democrats say is, well, Obama's waging a smarter war. He's waging a more precise war. Uh, he's not subjecting U.S. Uh, soldiers to being killed on the battlefield the way that President Bush did. Um, first of all, the U.S. wouldn't have troops in 